I'm here with Mr. Roger Swan. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm all right. I, you know, I, I'm hearing, you know, you've been doing like records, you know, mixing records for a very long time now. And right now we're at the, the Rascals Reunion show right now. You know, think about way back in, let's say, 1993. Uh, let's say. I don't you, know if I can remember that far back. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, 93, hey? Yeah. Fuck, what was happening in 93? Was that cash crop? Do you know? Uh, 93 <laughs> was, sure. was uh, they, uh, they had the independent were there. The, the really living? Was it really living? Yeah, what? Yeah. Is that the one? Okay. You're right. And it did get re-released, <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah. Nice. You, you, you did your homework, yeah, I, cool. I, I, I had to do my homework. I appreciate that shit. That's cool. <laughs> uh, so, you know, thinking, thinking back in 93, like to now, do you think, you know, you would be standing right here right now, you know, you know still thinking about, you know, doing the whole mixing and, you know, recording and, putting tracks together man i'm just blessed that i am i mean it's 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 beyond mixing right because because from engineering and mixing it turns into production okay. it was actually production in the first place you know what i mean because me and kimo used to sit in my parents house when we were kids like and we'd sit there and we'd fucking make beats and fuck with samplers and everything else you know what i mean and it was just like I don't know, man. I, I, nothing has really changed except that we've gotten better, obviously, and you know you learn lots and the experience, you know, experience is everything. You know what I'm saying? So we've been doing this like 15, 17 years now, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, probably about 17 years. So, yeah. so, so you've been so basically after that time. I mean, I have to consider you like a legend doing this kind of music and you know mixing in with hip hop. Now, I mean, well, for, for, to, in my opinion, you know, I feel like you're you're kind of a pioneer that, that, that people don't know about. A pioneer so, for sure. A pioneer for sure, and in Canadian hip hop, like, is there any any artist or any uh, any genre music, you know, outside of like hip hop that you that you are working on too right now, or is it, are you just focusing on hip hop well, itself right now? That's the funny thing is, in high school, I got into the whole thing, the whole music thing, because I played drums and guitars, and I used to play in everything from like cover bands that did like top forty to like rock bands and punk bands and shit. So nothing has changed in that aspect either. I'm I'm still doing all those those uh, genres of music. Um, I still enjoy everything I do, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a blessing. Every day I go in the studio, like, I just put a little thing on my little Facebook or whatever, my status, <laughs> where, like, it's like, I still do 15-hour days in the studio, and I don't blink an eyelash. It's just like, the, the day just flies by. The last 17 years have fly, flown by, you know what I mean? And it's just like, every day that I spend in there is a good day. It's okay. cool, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, okay. yeah, I'm blessed. I love it. It's dope. Crazy. Uh, now, the last thing I, I want to ask you was about the uh, the whole Chaos mixtape, uh, the Anchorman mixtape. Can I get a little bit of you know background on that? Like, how how, how much work did you guys put in on that uh, that mixtape recently? That was as much work. Well, no, I'd say it was almost as much work as an album. And I heard through the grapevine that it might turn into an album. Okay. Next year. Okay. At least uh, some of the songs that are on it, we're probably going to revisit them, eventually go back in the studio you know do a little extra things to them and, and turn them into a little something extra so, so will it be re-released re like an ep i think as an album yeah yeah there'll yeah, be okay. some new there'll be some new cuts and stuff and then we're probably going to use some of the the tracks that existed or originally on the the mixtape okay but we'll probably touch them you know do a little something extra to it so Crazy. yeah yeah good man okay well you heard it first like i said this is roger swan here and uh josh from hiphopvancouver.com uh any last thing anything else you want to you tell people Nah, man, just, uh, I'm just happy to see Vancouver coming up like this and, and still recognizing what we started, I guess, because we all did start this, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of cool, man. Like, everyone's still doing their thing. There's all sorts of new talent in there as well. Everyone's killing it. I'm, I'm proud of the city. It's cool. It's good. You people heard it. Say bye, Vancouver. Thank you. <laughs>